Hello children today we shall learn about rounding of numbers Some day you buy a big bunch of grapes how would you share you and your friend would take one grape each then again one grape each generally when you are with a good friend you find a lot of joy in sharing you don't try to count grapes isn't it but if someone ask you how many grapes you had you would make an estimation like 15 or 20 as you haven't counted the exact number of grapes isn't it sometimes in real life we make estimation as we don't know the exact number of something like there are 50 students in a class or there are about 1000 people in our locality but does estimation means just guessing no it is much more than that assume a farm owner told his helper ramu to count number of mangoes on the trees he guessed there are about 2000 mangoes but when picking mangoes the owner found out only there are 960 mangoes he was very angry and thought that someone had stolen his mangoes so if ramu had estimated properly like 900 or 1000 there wouldn't be any trouble when estimating we should try to estimate something which is close to the real value as close as possible isn't it sometimes we know the exact value still we use the nearest value like there are 37821 people in a town but 37821 is hard to remember so we can say there are approximately 38000 people in my town as it is very close to the real number expressing a number by another number near to it which is simpler to remember is known as rounding of number and the expressed nearest value of a number is known as the rounded number like we told 37821 as roughly 38000 so we rounded up 37821 to 38000 So here, thirty-eight thousand is the rounded number, and thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-one is the exact value. But why we rounded off thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-one to thirty-eight thousand, and not thirty-seven thousand? What is the difference between thirty-eight thousand and thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-one? Let's write it down. Thirty-eight thousand minus Thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-one is equal to one seventy-nine. And what is the difference between thirty-seven thousand and thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-one? Thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-one minus thirty-seven thousand is equal to eight twenty-one. So thirty-eight thousand is obviously much nearer to thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-one. because the difference is less right so we say 38000 is the rounded number you must be thinking do we always need to perform a subtraction to find the rounded number then it can be hard right no there is an easy way to find rounded number let us understand it with a simpler example there are 38 students in your class if someone ask approximately how many students are there then you can say about 40 students is it right estimation let us use a number line to represent numbers from 30 to 40 see this is 38 it is between 30 and 40 if you see closely 38 is closer to 40 as compared to 30 so we round up 38 to 40 What if thirty-three students were there in your class? Let us again use the number line. See, this is thirty-three. It is between thirty and forty. 
if you see closely 33 is closer to 30 as compared to 40 so we round down 33 to 30 now you may say what about 35 what if 35 students were there in the class if we see the number line 35 is exactly midway between 30 and 40 so we round up 35 to 40 so what did we do actually well we rounded a number to its nearest 10 when the once digit is 4 or less we round down meaning tens digit remain unchanged and the ones digit becomes zero as for example in case of 33 the ones digit is 3 and as it is lesser than 5 33 is rounded to 30 to its nearest 10 when the digit at once place is 5 or more we round up meaning tens digit is increased by 1 and the ones digit becomes 0 as for example in 38 the ones digit is 8 which is greater than 4 so 38 is rounded up to 40 hence we increased tens place by 1 and the ones place is set to 0 let us take another example for example 1765 we are rounding the number to nearest 10 so you should look at ones place and here the value is 5 so the ones place value is 5 that means 0 1 2 3 4 have passed so tens place would change after 4 counts so tens place is closer to the change so tens place would be increased to next count that is 7 and once place is set to 0 so it is 70 so if we round the number 1765 to its nearest tens by rounding up we will get 1770 now let us try to round a number to its nearest 100 let's take the number 1735 we now look at tens place as we are rounding the number till hundreds place and here at tens place we have 3 and 3 is less than 5 so tens place has a long way to reach 9 so the hundred place is not increased by one count it will remain at 7 and all the places in its right that is tens and ones place would be filled with zero so we have rounded down the number to nearest hundred so 1735 is rounded to 1700 if we are rounding to hundredth place so when rounding a number till a certain position just look at the position to its right here we want to round the number to the nearest hundred so we look at tens place which has the digit six since the tens place is six which is more than four we need to increase the hundredth place by one hence it would be 1800 that is 1765 is rounded up to 1800 when we are rounding to nearest 100 now let us try rounding to nearest 1000 so 2 is at thousands place and to its right that is hundreds place is 3 the hundreds place is 3 which is less than 5 so all places right to thousands place is made 0 and the thousands place is unchanged so it would be 2000 then so 2376 is rounded down to 2000 when we round it to the nearest thousand now what did we do when we rounded up 37000 
एट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन टू थर्टी एट थाउजेंड विच वॉज द टाउन्स पॉपुलेशन वॉज इट राउंडेड टू नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड और टेंस वेल वी राउंडेड अप टू थाउजेंड्स प्लेस हाउ सी थाउजेंड्स प्लेस इज इंक्रीज बाय वन एंड वंस टेंस एंड हंड्रेड्स प्लेस इज चेंज टू जीरो दिस इज बिकॉज the place which is right to the thousands place which is the hundreds place has a value of 8 and that is greater than 4 so thousands place got increased by 1 7 became 8 so we rounded 37821 to its nearest thousand which is 38000 understood so remember during rounding you need to look at the number and find out which place we are rounding up to and then look at the value of the number to its right if that value is greater than 4 then we round up and if that value is less than or equal to 4 then we round down that is all for today children bye bye